you back again for another video. This time we're going to take a look at uh, Alien Vault OSIM, otherwise known as the Alien Vault Security and Event Management System, open source. And just a quick word on setup. Um, on my laptop running, I have a Metasploitable 2 uh, directly connected uh, as with the bridge adapter on my uh, network and as well as Alien Vault running on the same network. So just to show, uh, I'm on desktop at the moment, so I do have remote access to both Metasploit and Alien Vault. So you can just SSH in and you can have uh, all these options if you need to configure anything. So uh, I'm gonna dive right in. So first thing I'm gonna try to do, well, first let's take a look at the dashboard, right? So Alien Vault, um, it, it's, it's similar to Splunk, but um, it's quite, I'd say a bit more flexible in the sense that uh, you can easily deploy it on say, several uh, virtual machines or uh, in different environments really. But at the moment, I just have a uh, simple setup with just Metasploitable as, yeah, as, as an asset. So if we take a look at the environment, right, uh, we can see the Alien Vault machine running on 202 and Metasploitable 214. And um, with that added as an asset and group, you can start monitoring uh, events. So what the great thing about uh, Alien Vault is uh, it can monitor traffic on the network it's uh, connected to. And you also have the option when you're setting it up as fresh, you can add in a sensor instead of the actual open source uh, security event management system. So we, let's take a look at security events, right? You can see uh, already, already there's a few tickets in the uh, logs that have been populated. So to dive right in, uh, we can do a simple, what's called uh, syn connect. TCP sync connect flood and for that we're just going to use uh, hbing uh, or hbing3 same thing so for both capital S for uh, sync and we're going to do a flood at port 80 and we know uh, with Metasploitable and just a web server um, active listening in so we know port 80 and then we enter the IP address. And we let that run. Now this may or may not show up in the logs, but if we take a look at threat intelligence, right? And if it loads, you can actually see uh, the sort of uh, directives. So what the policies for, uh, I say what counts as uh, an event. Now, actually, let me stop this, right? Because this is running, yeah, if this is running on my laptop now. Uh, as you can see, that actually that actually slow down uh, Alien Vault as well. But uh, as I was saying, if you actually look at that uh, directives, you can actually see the actual uh, policies that can you can actually uh, catch. So back to security events. That added, that didn't actually show up which is quite interesting now um at the moment there isn't a hid uh host intrusion detection uh agent set up on this void all uh at the moment there was issues earlier on with setting this up but uh for now uh i'll leave it as is but uh hping seem to have worked, I guess, even though it did not show up in the log. Well, we can try something else, and that something else would be Metasploit. Now, before starting with Metasploit, um, we should actually try a uh, nmap. Now, see if, yeah, that's there. So we can actually, what we can actually do, uh, we can run an nmap scan, right? SV to actually get the uh, service version up. And we can, because it's metasploitable, metasploitable, you can actually get a whole list of uh, vulnerable 
say service is running as expected so let this run however long that's gonna last but um what you should see here is a uh, it could come up as an event so you see end map but you could also have real time oh it actually came up so you can see a uh, possible end map you can actually see the user agent uh if you click on it now here you go now there's interface and IP address and uh, of course it, it detected it's lot you it gave it a low risk but uh, it did detect the uh, scans as you, as you can see there so so let's have dive right in so let's pick one um that's a really obvious one the VSFTP daemon 2.3.4 so we can just search uh, vs ftp oh we have an exploit so we'll start using that right now this is only attacker uh, perspective now so this right here this is def anyone that, uh, defending right we'll be sitting here looking at all these uh, incidents waiting for anything high risk or anything of value so right now let's uh, set our target ready so we should there you go double check all right now uh, I'm just just gonna leave it as the as, uh, default payload so that should just work and I see back door and found a shell we pop the shell and yeah there we go we can do ls yeah and then if you look back here there you go detected a uh, FTP password detected in clear text now um, I could maybe let's try let's see because there's many there's many things that alien vault alien alien vault can pick up so um, right now it's really just a matter of demonstrating the uh, events that I could maybe catch so let's look for another let's say apache j serve i guess so let's actually exit out of the shell right and then yeah. oh there's another you can use this maybe the auxiliary see if that triggers any interesting results now this is Apache Tomcat it's actually a uh, so this may or may not work we're just, we're just gonna give it a go anyway so our hosts huh. all right so our part um, well, let's go back to our nmap m reconnaissance scan nmap so we can see where was that um jsurf now well the exploit does say tomcat so we're gonna take a look maybe it's either 009 or 180 hold on this is apache j server so it does yeah let's see if that works no this is an auxiliary module so hmm. all right which we'll that doesn't seem to be working so really as you can see there uh you can you can you can even see uh, any ssh logins so let's actually try that actually so if you exit here right ssh root at say I don't know uh, now we can just put more or less anything into here just to trigger an event see um, it's an interesting attack response yeah yeah this actually picked it up yeah a root login so that's another thing and oh here you can see source IP, destination IP. You can actually see the, the sockets, more or less, of uh, these events. 
So let's actually do an actual uh, login. So we know Minisploitable is running SSH. So switching back to my laptop, right? We can actually try MSF admin. See if that works. MSF admin as password. Oh, we got in. Now, let's see if it actually came up here. I don't think that actually came up. Or did it? Yeah, it's not clear. But um, other than that, it's um, it is it is actually quite. Uh, it's fairly easy to set up. You just uh, uh use the ISO to uh set up on say VirtualBox or VMware. So the deployment wise is actually quite. It's scalable compared to maybe I'd argue maybe it's kind of slightly. I'd say Splunk, Splunk is nice, but um, compared to this, th this is just a matter of uh, setting up a virtual machine and then connecting it right into your network and start uh, setting it up. Set setting it up. But uh, yeah, that's all I have for you. So yeah.